Menard, long shot, and hits. 49-23. Emily Menard from the outside. That's going to be a foul on Menard as Schwab goes flying. All alone at the foul line, Schwab. Again, looking at the extra pass really helps, and the U.S. has been making that one. My whole life, I just kind of assumed that I would be a mom. Never thought why I couldn't be a mom. As with anything in my life, I've adapted to it. You know, you find ways around things, and it could look like I'm having difficulties sometimes, you know, or maybe when he was little, like picking him up, but you find ways to, to do things and make it happen if you really want it. So my husband is CJ, and my son is Lincoln, and we had Lincoln March 1st, 2013. He's awesome. You found your basketball. Where was it? It's in the truck box. Oh my goodness. My parents are like a great example of how I want to raise my child. I'm from Dane, Wisconsin. There was about 600 people that lived in that town, and I was the only child in a wheelchair in my elementary school, or in the school district. I was born with spina bifida. There wasn't this high expectation put on me because I was a girl with a disability. Like it was more this, oh, this poor little girl, what is she gonna do with her life? She's in a wheelchair. But I didn't have parents that felt that way. It was like, she's gonna do whatever she wants to do in life. And so when we found out about wheelchair basketball, I was shy and I didn't want to go to the first practice. And my dad took me to it and they both said, you have to try it. I went to UW-Whitewater actually where I work now and I was at an Easter sales camp and it was all boys. And right away I wanted to be better than these boys. And I did become better than them, I think within, you know, a year or two of playing the game. This will be my 25th year playing basketball. turned 20 right before we went to the Sydney Games. So that was my first Paralympic Games. We came in fifth place, which is kind of a disappointment for us, but I think it fueled us. So then I went to the Athens Games in 2004, Beijing Games in 2008, and then I took a break from basketball and I did the London Games in 2012 for track. And to make that team was one of the hardest things I've ever done and I was happy that I made it and that I got to experience that. And then most recently, me to come back and went to Rio. Hi, um, today is September 7th. It's finally opening ceremonies day, so we're pretty excited here. I'm also kind of struggling with today is Lincoln, my son's, um, it's his first day of preschool and I'm not there. So it's kind of sad for me. Um, thankfully, my husband sent me a picture of him. He's all dressed up to go to school and really excited wearing his little backpack. So. That's really fun, um, but I am a little bit sad that I'm missing that. That's kind of like a milestone that I never thought that I would miss. Coming into the games, I think some of the girls uh, had a little apprehension because in London they got fourth place. I wanted these girls that were so talented to experience winning a gold medal. So I was hoping that, you know, me coming back to the team could get us back on the podium. Three minutes to go, an 11 point lead. And who's, who's down there all by herself is Murray, and Murray gets two more. We knew going into the games that we were the team to beat, and that if we played together and we played for each other, that we were gonna win. During the gold medal match, there was, there was about 44 seconds left in the game. I looked over at Jen Poise and I was like, we're gonna win a gold medal. And I grabbed her and I like squeezed her really hard, and she was like, there's still time on the clock. And I was like, but we were up so much. But the USA, wow, three golds in four Paralympic Games, and they claim the gold, and congratulations to them. There has been no better team here on overall performance. I knew that this was my end of my international career. I cried. I couldn't get the smile off of my face. It was awesome. As long as my body holds up, I think I'll still play. And as long as it's still fun. More importantly, when it starts interfering with like my family life. Oh. Is it all clear? Yeah, it's clear. Can you see the leaves on the trees? Yeah. You know, my mom read to me from a really young age. So I'm doing that with Lincoln. 
How long will the dream take to work, Sophie whispered. Doing things like making an apple pie, you know, I remember helping my mom cook and, you know, having meals where we sit down and we eat dinner together and making sure that family is a priority because that's what was modeled in our home. So I want him to have that too because I think that that is going to the wayside in a lot of different families. I think Lincoln has made me grow up. He even made me a better team player to do things for somebody else and not myself. Again, it's not all about me. It's about us as a unit. I know that there's a bigger picture now that I'm a mom. Get the ball from him, take it from him. <laughs> You know, Lincoln's going to get older and he's going to want to play sports and getting him around from place to place, like, I think that'll take a priority over I've won. Um, me playing. You know, something will have to give. For us to move back to Wisconsin, I wasn't sure that that would ever happen. It's totally full circle. And back in the place where I learned how to play wheelchair basketball at those camps. I realized in the last probably three years that I've really loved coaching. It doesn't feel like work. It feels like this is where I'm supposed to be. Get front, get front, get front. Basketball built my confidence. I was shy and then I became good at basketball and I became myself. I came out of my shell and I've, I've seen that happen for kids in wheelchairs. You know, they're around their peers. You gain confidence when you're around like people that you didn't know existed. I want to instill confidence in these girls because I think girls just in general nowadays maybe don't have that much confidence. And then if you throw a disability on top of it, sometimes, you know, media and everything, you're not perfect. And I just want them to see that like, they're awesome. We are college level athletes and like be confident and own that. What I want people to stop doing is assuming that somebody can do something. I never thought I'd have three gold medals. <laughs> you do what is best for you in anything, in parenting, in playing a sport, in life in general, and you adapt to everything that's thrown at you. Anybody has you know, challenges or things that they face from day to day. How you overcome that and how you create your own normal is what makes you successful.